Hi, it's David here, CEO and founder of the Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. Warren Buffett has a famous saying. He says, you know who's been swimming naked when the tide goes out. What does Warren mean by that? Well, it means when there's a full tide, when we say a rising tide uh, lifts all boats. Also, when a tide goes out, uh, boats that are not well set, well founded, uh, all, will, will, will drift, um, will, will go ashore. He's talking about the markets. Uh, Warren's talking about the fact that in speculative markets, in exuberant markets, in irrational markets, in markets that have been built up by what we've seen here in our marketplace in the last 10 years, since the downturn in 2008, the great financial recession, we've seen nothing but a bull market. Well, where's that come from? It's come from a trillions of dollars that have been pumped in the economy by the Federal Reserve and the Treasury. Trillions of dollars. I mean, unprecedented amount of money. And of course, we had to go through COVID, uh, and that was more money injected in the system. All right, I'm not going to say anything. But anybody did things that, in retrospect, that were bad. Look, the, the government, the Fed, they they try to manage the economy the best they can, but uh, it's been shown that uh, they have trouble doing it. So, what's the problem here? The problem is when we have this irrational up market for the last good ten years, is that almost everybody who's in business or making kind of investments, whether it's financial markets, whether it's real estate, it's been an up market. And when you have an up market, it's really difficult for people to like make bad moves or lose money. Uh, especially if you just give it a little bit of time, the market will catch back up and save the day. It's what's been happening. I've seen this happen multiple times over my last 42 years of being an investor in real estate. I've seen these, this happen when the markets make a correction and there's always gonna be a correction. In fact, we're probably standing right in front of them right now. I can't say exactly when the dominoes will fall. I can't say exactly how hard they'll fall, but I think you have to be ready. And when that happens, that's when the tide goes out. That's when those who have been riding the waves of this market will find out that maybe their infrastructure, maybe their criteria, maybe their operations, maybe their profit margins, their cash flow margins, their cash on hand was not sufficient to ride through that downturn. So why is this important for you? If you're out there looking for places to invest your capital, particularly in alternative investments, which you know is what I love. I love alternatives. Been doing it for over 40 years. It's what gave me the ability to leave my practice some 17 years ago when my daughter was sick because I have this portfolio of cash producing real estate. I learned how to do it. I learned how to mitigate and navigate the marketplace. If you're investing with people, which again is a great way to go because you don't have time to do it yourself to, to find the access points in the marketplace, you've got to find the right people. The question is, are you finding the right people? How do you know? How will you know? Maybe you won't find out until after the tide goes out, until we have a market correction. Probably not a good time to find that out. In Freedom Founders, we do extensive due diligence on all of our real estate trusted advisors, those people from which we're able to invest our capital, whether it's into syndications or funds or direct into real estate properties or lending opportunities. We do background checks on all the principles of every company to which I curate people in my world of the influence. I'm out there. I'm in the space. I get to find out who's who. And then we still do background checks and we do a full underwriting of every fund and syndication that is brought into our group. And we have multiple coming in all the time, different funds, different types of syndications, multifamily, self-storage community, uh, mobile home park communities, uh, you, you name it. We've, we've got it all. But we want to make sure that the constructs, the metrics, and the legal documents are all proofed and well-written to, to protect our interest, the investor's interest. Now, who's doing that for you? My guess is nobody. I was reading through a blog on another site. Uh, let's just call it an aggregation site. There's a lot of aggregation sites, nothing wrong with them. An aggregator is somebody who curates uh, good content, uh, maybe provides principles, education in some regard, and, and there's lots of them out there in all, all places. Nothing wrong with aggregation. I mean, you, have, you can go in and you can find resources and links to different topics on different things that are that are applicable to you. Uh, and there's a lot in the financial space. And there's one particular blog I was reading the other day and this particular uh, blog host writer uh, does a great job. I really think he does a great job in bringing good information, financial information to busy professional practice owners, business owners. He tries to do be all things to all people. I think that's dangerous. Uh, I think that's when you can get out of really over your ski tips and try to be into too many years at too many places and not really have a, a full grounding. So that's where you have to watch these aggregation sites is because, because oftentimes they pay for their overhead and profit margin in these aggregation sites. Again, nothing wrong with that. You've got to, you've got to make money somewhere. If you're not charging the members uh, access point, which most of them don't, then you've got to charge somebody else. Well, who do they charge? Well, they charge their sponsors. See, when they can build a big list of people who come to their site, 
and cu read curated information because it's helpful. You also they also those people who provide the 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 services and products want to be there too because they get in front of you know thousands and thousands of people. It's, it's a great way to do business. The problem is that these kind of sponsorships are just a come one, come all. In other words, anybody who, almost anybody, I mean, certainly not somebody who has a fraudulent background or something that's that's out there everybody knows, but basically it's come one, come all. If you write a check, pay the aggregator, that's the host, uh, for access to your community, your tribe, your list, then you can do that. And I was reading this particular blog the other day and, and someone was saying, uh, who had been investing in one of the quote real estate partners that uh, this aggregator had brought on who, who pays money to get on their site and say, Hey, here I am. I do this X, Y, Z kind of real estate and uh, come invest with me. Well, it's a, it's a form of endorsement uh, to do that. Now, again, I think the, the blog host says, Hey, uh, he, 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 he disclaims it. He says, look, people pay me to get access to you all. It's up to you to do your due diligence. Now that's fair. Uh, but most people, they don't read the fine print. So what happens? Uh, they see someone who's listed there and go, well, this must be a good person, a good company, a good product, good service. And so therefore I should try them out. Could be a financial advisor, could be uh, any kind of a vendor in, in any, any space. And I guess this one was in real estate. Well, apparently this, this real estate sponsor partner uh, had, had really gone, gone, down, gone down deep in the hole, meaning wasn't, they weren't communicating, the, the returns were bad, the financials were terrible, uh, the communication was awful, the person had gone, had gone dark. And, uh, some people were complaining about this and the host you know, said, hey, look, I can't help you. Um, I just bring people here. It's your job to do your own due diligence. So again, coming back around to what I said earlier, how are you going to do the, do the due diligence? If they're not going to do it for you, then do you know how to do it? See, it's very, very important. You know how to do this, particularly when we're in a marketplace like we're in right now, where the market is very turbulent, it's volatile. And I think a correction is our doorstep. If you've been putting money with different people and had good success so far, great for you. But if you, if you don't know how the, the track record of the person is or how their operations are or how their financial metrics are, if, you, if they haven't gone through a downturn like we had back in the Great Financial Recession, 2008, 9, and 10, if they don't have a history and you can plug in, then how do you know? Lots of danger out there. That's why we do it differently in Freedom Founders. We don't, we're not an aggregator. We don't, we don't just take money for sponsorships. Our members pay for access. Now, that's a charge, but you'd rather have someone pay for access that allows me to give the, the cleanest and most direct curation of the best people, irregardless of how much they're paying, because I don't get paid. We don't get paid for how much you invest. That's the difference. So be very wary about how you invest, where you invest, and what you do or don't know about due diligence. It's going to be a matter of whether you get through this next correction well or you take a hit. I don't want to see you take a hit. So just be out there on the forefront. Know what you're doing. And by all means, stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.